What brings Electrobit to the SAE World Congress? What is your story? Well, uh, SAE World Congress this year is focusing very much uh, around efficiency in all directions and we believe that we can contribute a lot to efficiency especially in software development with software as one of the core drivers of innovation in cars it's incredibly important and we can assist car makers and their suppliers in being more efficient in their development by using software and expertise that we can provide here in the areas of ECU development and uh, infotainment systems. Now what uh what precisely is Electrobit doing right now with, uh, with some of the uh, developments in, uh, in the corporation? Okay, uh, Electrobit uh, is to a large amount uh, working in the infotainment area with uh, a special focus on uh, navigation and speech input. Uh, you can see these technologies, for example, in the new Golf 7 Volkswagen car where it's been used and has been uh, tested with extremely good results in recent magazines. And um, this is, well, the most visible part of what we do. At the same time, we also take care of uh, connecting the devices inside the car with uh, the new Autosar technology, something we are rolling out right now and supporting our customers, especially when it comes to functional safety, where we have just received a certification for our operating system that uh, enables them to really do f safe software based on our software. The, the Golf uh, story, of course, uh, yes. the UW is, is a great uh, success story. Yes. And uh, because Golf is a great success. It's, right. it's, it's just amazing what uh, Volkswagen has been able to do with that. What does that do to uh, the employees of a corporation when you, when you see a success like that? What, is, what does it mean to the, uh, the employees? Yeah, for uh, everybody doing software, it's extremely important to have success stories like that because you will never see the software as such, but you see the results and knowing that the navigation system in a car like the Golf 7 is something in wide parts designed by Electrobit parts of the look and feel uh, from us, the complete internal algorithms from us. This is really something that helps visualize what we have achieved here. Mm -hmm. We just had our 25th anniversary celebration a few weeks ago and uh, did some calculation and found out that we have done so far software for more than one billion devices in cars and that again is something that is very much creating an impression of what we have been able to achieve over the last years. What are we going to see in the next uh, three to five years uh, what, what, that you can share with us? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> some are some secrets, I understand, but you, mu you must be able to say uh, there are trends uh, coming. Of course. Yeah, we, uh, we see that uh, driver assistance uh, functions, for example, uh, are repeating the story we've seen in infotainment over the last few years. We see more and more driver assistance functions being added to cars like uh, lane departure warnings or even parts of uh, autonomous driving, for example, in traffic jam, keeping the distance to your, uh, the car uh, ahead of you, things like that. This is one thing that we see, and the next one uh, is very much, of course, about connectivity in the car, having information available, but of course not the same way as you have them on your mobile phone, but in a way that uh, is suitable for the environment of a car and presenting information to the driver in a way that he can handle and that does not take his uh, complete attention away from the road. Is Electrobit going to fulfill all those uh, commitments? Uh, I think we are contributing quite a lot to that. We will typically not do the complete system, but uh, are doing it together with partners. But we are already working on the technologies to make this promise come true in the future. And how, how would you uh, characterize the, the relationships between the OEMs and suppliers? Has it improved over the last five years, ten years? <laughs> it's, that, that's an interesting question. <laughs> I think uh, what we are seeing is uh, that uh, most OEMs are using the, the, the opportunity to have more competition and they are trying to get uh, suppliers out of uh, roles where they've been in for decades. Mm -hmm. They just want uh, to uh, minimize their dependence from single companies. So uh, we've seen some of our customers take a very active role and uh, creating great new business because they got that opportunity while some of the bigger suppliers slightly moved out 
uh, I think that's quite interesting. And of course, we've seen new roles like our role as a software partner come up, something that 10 years ago did not exist in such a way and where today we really have the complete responsibility for the software in a system, but not for the hardware. This is typically done by a partner.